Ugh. Uh, hey, this is it guys. Day 5 of my 6 days of Christmas vlogmas. Look, I can't even think of what day I'm on. Uh. Hi guys. Day 5 of my 6 days of Christmas vlogmas. What are we doing today? We are doing my eyeshadows. Stick around, this one's going to be pretty exciting. Hello, welcome back to Asane. My name is Nair. This is my channel here. And today I am doing day five of my six days of Christmas Vlogmas. Yes. Super exciting one today. Eyeshadow palettes. I'm very excited because I haven't actually bought that many new eyeshadow palettes this year. So I'm pretty excited because everything is pretty old. That's my husband. Everything is good apparently. Yeah. If you're new, hey, thanks so much for coming to join me. If you've been here before, welcome. Thank you so much for coming back. Uh, hit the subscribe button, definitely hit the notification button, and let's go. Day five, eyeshadows, makeup inventory. Let's do this. <laughs> okay, guys, so we are doing eyeshadows today, uh, palettes. Uh, whether that be full pan, big pan, whatever. Anything but the single eyeshadows. So let's get going. Um, in the top here, I do have my uh, Chanel makeup, blushes, lipsticks, etc. I'm not going to swatch. Um, it's not as bad as the blush was, the blush collection was, but it is quite a bit. Um, first up is, okay, well, it's all Chanel um, for now. Um, but this is... This was a limited edition for many, many Christmases ago. It's really in here now just for, um, that's the word I'm looking for, collective purposes. Um, love this. And it is the Regard Signe de Lyon de Chanel. Regard Signe de Chanel. Um, yep, just in here for collection purposes. I don't use it. Um, okay, then I have, oh, actually. <laughs> These are a bunch of single pan eyeshadows. I forgot. I not that I forgot I had these, but I didn't remember to put them in the single category. Uh, first up is Vert La May in the Longwear Eyeshadow Powder. Oh my goodness! I don't know how long that will take. It's a brilliant green. Just the right amount of shimmer. It's a very golden green. Love it. Oh, goodness, I had some hangers. Uh, next up, same formula, but this is the Quiver La May. So another metallic shadow. Love this. It's another really great one and done kind of eyeshadow. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. And... One more. I think this was actually from this 2020 summer collection. I'm not sure. This is the Poudre Brun. Oh, I just love butchering these names. And this is a really, this is actually a really good um, wine fall color. So I got to use that one. Oh, hope you guys can. Um, then I have a couple that live here on top of the uh, IKEA unit, so I'll go through these real quick, and then we'll get into the drawers. So I have a NYX Grind palette. Um, these were like the machinist ones that came out. Uh, this was 01, and this is really, really has a huge mirror, which I loved, and it's right up my color scheme because it is warm uh, neutrals and shimmery uh, like greens. I think it has a trichrome and then it has that matte green. So these are definitely the kind of colors that I love. And this for me is a great um, travel palette that I will take with me. And then I have uh, Huda Beauty, the Mauve Obsessions. I'm obsessed with wine colored cranberry colors. It's another color scheme that you'll see quite a lot from as we go through. And then I have two of my Vizia palettes up here. Um, I love Vizia. I love Vizia. <laughs> I'll just 
leave it at that. Uh, first is the Bijou palette, just jewels. This I actually got in a Lucky bag one year. And then next, I think this is the Dark Matte. And I'm actually wearing a combination of the Dark Mattes and the Bijou. Today I'm wearing the greens and used one of these browns as a transition color. Okay, so quick, easy. Um, there's no rhyme or reason. There's no rhyme or reason why these are on top here. They just randomly placed there for now. So let's get into the drawers. Okay, this is the top, top drawer and it's got my highlighters and bronzes over there. I've got a lone perfume and then, um, yeah, a lot of Pat McGrath and Viseat in this one. So of course, um, we all know, which one is this one? Uh, Sublime. This is actually, oh goodness. Uh, It's gonna be worth taking them all out and you guys know what these look like and it might take a minute so yep um divine rose 2 love this one ah yeah and yeah inconvenient to keep it in the packaging but I love the packaging especially especially this one. Oh lordy lordy Look at that. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Love this. <sighs> then another one over here. Uh, Mothership 5 Bronze Seduction. I love Pat McGrath's packaging, you guys. So, yeah, another warm palette. Because I love warm palettes. And this here is my jam. I think it's a lot of work for me. Okay, I'm going to pull this forward so it can help a little bit. Um, this is actually <laughs> my newest Pat McGrath um, eyeshadow. And i got to be honest, I like this one the least. And actually, this is my second newest because I bought another one. But I, I like this one the least. Um, and I kept wanting this and wanting this. And I honestly just, ugh. Yeah. I thought I was going to use this a lot. I thought I was going to get a lot of use out of that blue. I thought this was a matte color. I didn't pay attention. So a pan of all shimmers. I like to have at least one like matte in my shimmers, you know. Um, so yeah, it's it's okay. Uh, okay, next one. Oh, this one I love. Uh, this is one of the Astral Quads. Oh yeah, no, this this one I love. Oops. <laughs> what can I say? These kinds of videos are not my jam. <gasps> Look at that. Oh yeah. <gasps> love these colors. That brown, I love it. That red, I love it. Just love this one. Love it. Um, yeah. Love that one. And then I have a cool toned uh, Pat McGrath eyeshadow. One down here. Oh, let me. Let me take that plastic out. Hold on. I actually get quite a bit of use out of this one. Um, I always think cool tones are not my jam, but I lie because I like this one. It is my jam. So. Um, I like this packaging with this, oh wait, with this loop here that it is stretchy like that. I much prefer that to the twist ones, but oh well. Okay, next I have a uh, lone Tom Ford, <laughs> which was a challenge to open. Do you guys notice a pattern here? It's either a warm palette or it's green. I love green. This is the Eye, Eye Color Duo in Raw Jade. Love it. Gets use. And then I have more Viseat down here. I have Theory Palette. This is a great travel palette for me. Um, if I'm just doing 
quick trip. I love the combination of the browns and the greens. I'm lying, this is not the one I use when I'm traveling, but this is a great palette. Uh, I just love the greens and the brown there. Love that great transition color here. I can make it dark, I can add a little glimmer shimmer at night. I've got my highlighters, everything. Love this palette. This is a keeper. And it is the Theory palette. Oh, I had the Theory palette package in the Absence packet. Okay, that explains a lot. And then uh, Vizia, this one was um, in a lucky bag. Beautylush lucky bag, guys. They go on sale the day after Thanksgiving. I mean, sorry, the day after Christmas. Um, $75 gets you about $150 worth of product. I've always loved everything I've gotten. So, well, not everything, but most things. So, there you go. This is the dark edit. And, oh gosh, I forgot I had this. <sighs> Love it. Oh, I need to play with that. I forgot. I <sighs> yeah, there's another drawer. This is actually the last drawer. So, maybe the madness is not as bad as I think. Or is it? <laughs> you guys tell me. Oh yeah, mama's. Juvia's Place Warrior Palette. Um, the Warrior 2 palette. Love this. Gets used a lot. Another Juvia's Place, the Warrior palette. Um, I'm loving this, I'm loving this. But definitely Warrior 2 is my jam. Nice mix of shimmers in there, and I've got a good transition color here, uh, and something for the outer corner there, and then a nice mix of shimmers. So this gets loved too. I've actually just bought a whole bunch of Juvia's palettes, but it's all gonna go in my um, black owned brands themed giveaway once I hit my 1500 subscribers. So subscribe away so we can get there. You guys can get this. Um, next, I'm going to do some travel palettes since they're right there on top of everything. And by travel palettes, I mean it's like a combo of face and eyeshadow. I wasn't sure where to put them. Um, this one is a Chanel one. And I've kept, I'm keeping it in its pouch. This was a gift from a fellow YouTuber called Barbara, De Barbara, Deborah Davis DeWitt. And... Here you go. Um, this clearly doesn't work for me, so we don't bother with that. Um, but I do love the eyeshadows in here. I don't really mess with the lipsticks because lipsticks in a palette like this kind of... I don't know, it's not my thing. But I have used this as a travel palette, literally a travel palette. And I love the, these combinations, the eyeshadow combinations, I thought were fantastic. Thank you, Deb. Another Beautylish one here. Oh boy. Um, this is Charlotte Tilbury 5 Minute Face on the Go. Uh, another product that I got. You knew that was going to happen. Another product that I got in uh, Beautylish Lucky Bag. Oh, let's see. So, there you go. Um, I am, I've used the this cheek color, yes, that works. This is supposed to be your bronze. I've used it as a powder. The highlight is a little too yellow for what I like, so I haven't used that. And I do use the top three. You can see the lettering has gone off, but I am able to use that top three there. So um, it's not one of my most used palettes. If I'm traveling, I wouldn't take this because it's just not enough color options, but it's not a bad palette. Um, it's definitely not something I would have bought for myself, but you know, you know how it is. We make these things work. Ah, here is my uh, my other face palette that I do like a lot. Um, this is NARS. This is NARS Make Up Your Mind. And I use this one for travel. This is what, you know, really got me interested in this. I love that combination. Great for work. Great for, you know, business during the day, party at night. I love the blush options that it has. Um, and I've used the bronzer, quote unquote bronzer, 
as a powder so this is one uh, when I do travel I do like to take this one um, a lot for the blush combinations there and yeah lots of options I think I have one more Pat McGrath down here this is the newest one in the collection I just it didn't fit with the others you know sometimes you run out of space um, it's yet to be touched it might end up in the giveaway but I am kind of looking forward to playing with it <sighs> yeah no it's not gonna end up in the giveaway me and this blue have a hot date coming we do yeah nope sorry keeping that one <laughs> I don't know why that's in there this was a gift from another fellow youtuber Lady B this is the Morphe 15s palette YouTube friends are the best. They will, they really are. Lots of wonderful gifts from my fellow YouTubers. If you can see that. Look at these lovely shimmers and the brights and the greens and just everything. This is a fantastic transition color. Uh, really love this. Done smoky eyes with some of these. Some of these are a little out of my um, repertoire, but if I ever needed those options, they're there. Thank you. I really like this Morphe, Morphe packaging as compared oops, to the old school one. Yes, I still have one of these old school Morphe packages. It is what it is. I actually will play in this sometimes when I'm looking for just the right brown transition color. This will get worked out. Um, not that often. I don't deny it, but on occasion I will. Uh, bring that up. Play with it. Uh, all right. I'm actually kind of proud of myself because I didn't buy a lot of new makeup this year, so this is good. Oh wait. Uh, this Urban Decay Born to Run, one of my all-time favorite palettes. No joke. This is just beautiful. I love the colorway. I love the um, shimmers, the transition colors, the highlight colors, just everything. I love the warms and the bit of a cool, everything. Um, I don't know. If I had to choose one palette, this would be one that would definitely be in the running for that choice. Love it. They, they killed it. My one and only Natasha Denona palette. This one is the Cranberry palette. Uh, this was a Beautylish one. Pretty sure of that. Yep. Get a little bit of use out of it, but yeah. I really need to delve more and more into Natasha Denona, but I'm kind of feeling like I have enough palettes. So these ones are some of my older ones. Um, so yeah, Too Faced. I like this. Great transition color right there. Got some use into it. Lots of warm colors and some lo lovely shimmers. Um, so yeah, this is one that's right up my alley. Love it. Still get some use. It's an oldie but goodie Smashbox double exposure. Um, it's very cool toned. Every once in a while when I go and I'm in the mood for a cool toned um, palette, this is one I reach for. I loved the blue. I don't know if that's clear. Yeah, love that blue. Um, I can get a really nice cool toned smoky eye out of this one. So I've held on to it for that. Oh, my naked palettes. What can I say? Love this. Naked cherry. I always want to call it naked cranberry. I call everything this color uh, combination. Um, cranberry. I only wish this palette had a deeper brown transition color and then this would be like a one-stop shop for me. But I love it. You can really get a nice cranberry smoky out of that one. Oh, another favorite, the Naked Urban Decay Heat. Yeah, love this one. This one is great. Um, yeah, I wish it had a black. I wish it had a black because this is a deep color, but it's not deep enough where I feel like I could just have this palette by itself. So I wish it had a black, but great, great palette. Um, let's see. 
spotlight collection this also came from lady b she sent it to me the one year so thank you lovely um this is definitely a bit brighter than i'm used to wearing but i have played with the shimmers i love the shimmers those were great fantastic um and i've used the green uh the brights in the middle not so much um but you know what 2021 is a new year. I'm going somewhere fabulous for vacay. I don't know where, but I will go. And uh, I think I will take that. And last but not least is my Anastasia Beverly Hills Prism Palette, which I did a pan that palette on using this uh, last year or the year before. Not sure. So I don't know why I've still kept it, mainly because I love this green. I love Parallel. I love lure. I love the blue. Oh gosh. I love so many. I lost a few along the way, but uh, this was a really great palette and I didn't get rid of it because I still get use and love out of it. So, whew, okay. That actually wasn't too bad. That's it. That's all I had around. Okay, that was it guys. That was my, uh, Day five of six days of Vlogmas. I keep forgetting that. I really keep forgetting that. This has been an adventure. I have a lot of respect for people who post, who edit, who come up with ideas and do something every single day on YouTube. Um, I'm sure most people just pre-record everything, which I did do a lot of that, but I've been kind of doing my intros and outros every day. And whew, it's it's a job. Anyway, because you know I work nine to five too, actually. I'm, Work more like seven to five, but uh, such is the world. So, thanks guys for watching. Remember, remember what I always say: choose happiness. It's a choice you get to make every day, every hour.